Both Blue Angels are out in the pavilion. Oh, nice. All right, man, thank you. What we do here is go back, 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 back. How you doing? All right. Good. All right, in Seattle, looking for my rental car right now. My interview doesn't start until one o'clock, so I'm gonna go down to the Boeing Museum and kill some time, because I think it's only about nine o'clock right now. I just gotta find the rental car, 276. Here we go, 276. Got myself a Jetta. Howdy, how you doing? So it's pretty much a miracle I did not get pulled over on the way here because I had my head out the window the whole time. You come in and there's the Boeing factory there but right next to you is a bunch of airplanes there. And then you have the Museum of Flight right there. I'm happy I didn't get pulled over or wreck the car because I am excited right now. Uh, I just need a ticket, I guess. All right, All right so here's your wristband. Hi. Nope, cool. Yeah, that'll serve as your general mission, get you into the entire museum, all of our exhibits and galleries. seen an F4 Phantom up front or in person before. There's one right down there, so I got to go look at that. Awesome. Walking over the Skyway right now to go find the Blue Angels and uh, they got Frank Sinatra on in the background. One of my favorite songs. Uh, I believe there's also one of the first 747s ever made uh, that ever flew is actually over there as well. So, so check that out. Yeah, we just got uh, the new F-18 Hornet just uh, a few days ago. I saw that on Twitter, man. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, very cool. Beautiful. Nice. You know that this is the very first 747 ever built? Bet you didn't know that. Don't get me wrong, I love the 747, but the whole reason I'm here is because I've never seen this guy over here ever in person. And this was literally a Blue Angel that flew in the Blue Angel. So it's not just a Skyhawk in a Blue Angel paint scheme. This jet right here served in the Blue Angels. So if I could make one plea to this museum, which is I love this A4 Skyhawk, but this is the state of Washington, the state that Harley Hall grew up in, and so if you could, I would do anything for you guys to get an F4 Phantom in Blue Angel colors with Harley Hall's name on it. So behind me there, you can see an F18 Hornet in Blue Angel colors that's brand new to the Museum of Flight here in Seattle. Uh, it started service with Blue Angels in 2004 and was just decommissioned. Her name's Holly, and she sits here now at the Museum of Flight. Hello, how you doing? Good. I'm good. That is not for me, by the way. <laughs> All right, so that wraps it up for the museum here. I uh, now need to start the rest of my day, the real work. My interview starts at one, so I'm gonna hit the road because I really don't know where I'm going and hopefully I don't get lost and hopefully I get there on time. 
to give a little bit of background here about the interview I'm doing, I'm meeting with David Gardner and David Marlowe. David Gardner is the associate producer of a film called Threshold, which documented the Blue Angels when they flew F-4 Phantoms back in the 1970s. I'm also meeting with David Marlowe, whose father Paul was the producer of Threshold. Ultimately, Threshold was the film that introduced me to Harley Hall, my hero. Uh, that film's also the reason why I'm so in love with the F-4 Phantom, so I'm really looking forward to hearing what these guys have to say. Dad got a talking to twice from Harley. Harley never was the kind of guy who would yell. He was a very, he just was one of those kind of guys who didn't need to yell. So I thought that interview went really well. It was such an honor to meet both those guys. They had incredible stories and I could have stayed there forever, but I have to hit the road and get down to Portland because tomorrow I'm meeting with Gwen Davis, the sister of Harley Hall. I made it down to Vancouver, Washington, which is just about uh, 18 miles, 18 minutes north of, of Portland. Uh, I decided to stop by the Harley Hall building on the way down. This is where I'm going to be tomorrow. I'm going to interview Gwen Davis, and she's going to give me a tour of the Harley Hall Museum. One time when the Blue Angels were, were in Portland, we all were up on the banks of the Columbia River and uh, Harley, and watching them, and Harley said one time, someday I'm gonna do that. And of course, my older sister and I, we looked at each other, and it was like, yeah, right. Yeah, this is definitely me as a kid without the bird. <laughs> 